All right, we're doing another one right back to back. Let's go. And now we have fire. And bugs. Fire Force is going to be, ah, uh, I'm going to say, take it with a grain of salt, a replacement for Fire 1 in your rotation, but it's not right because you uh, have to be mindful of your timer now. This is this is where the timer um, uh, management comes in. You know, see how it's at lock at 15, right? So, um... When I start casting fire, it starts counting down, right? Until I cast a fire one. Fire four does hella damage, but does not refresh the timer. I don't know why I cast a fire. You see how it didn't reverse the timer? Fire two, save. Flare, save. Fire one, save. Fire starter, save. All those, perfectly fine. Fire four does not and never will as of, as of, you know, now, for, for whatever reason they decide to change that. But, if they ever do, I will make note of it. But, as of right now, uh, it always will, or sorry, it never will refresh your time. Damage going on. The last combo card. One play. I'm trying to squeeze this one in. Just cast it. Alright, now you're going to see it more often. But watch the timer as I'm casting it. Always. Ow. Fire Force, I believe. Typically, you want to just stick with the 3s. Remember what I was saying earlier about how the game really likes its 3s? Yeah, I wasn't kidding. <laughs> if I can still get that third one in, I'm going to fire one. Oh, did it cancel me? It did not. There we go. So, this is the part where you kind of just manipulate. How much you need, really? Uh, so I'm actually gonna cut that one. Let's get that one. And timing. Cast this. Move right in here. Yep. Four. Fire four. Four. And now that now now you won't overwrite. Um, it's also, it's also really nice because now your fire starters won't like overwrite because you're not spamming fire and, and quote unquote fishing for fire uh, starters. So I'm not even I, I don't think you guys about that. Notice how I'm not clicking, I'm just hovering. Did it work though? Uh, oh. So yeah, that's that's it. That is that is level sixty. You just kind of maintain your stance. There's like I remember when I said earlier um, that uh, your your fire your fire stance is very important to maintain. Or not your fire, sorry, your stance, your entire stance, like the entirety. Of it. So uh, uh, astral and umbral and switching between them properly is incredibly important. Two, or sorry, three. So I did. It didn't matter anyway because I could have just done that, but it's fine. It's really nice. The class feels really nice. Very smooth. Much smoother than before. Um, it, and it, again, it's specifically that umbral and, and the. Uh, oh, I gotta get credit to the thunder. Other than that, nothing really changes from the class as far as I'm still. 
Everything else is new. Actually, new. not changed. New. One more. That's two thousand. I won't have enough. I needed. I needed seven. I needed uh, eight hundred, barely. <clears throat> so I messed that up. But it's fine. We're still continuing the plot. Now we get ten thousand. So we'll do exactly that. Park. Boom. Oh wait, he has like a. Ah, whatever. It's fine. Oh, my ley lines. I'm actually gonna rush now. Uh, that's probably not the best choice. You don't always have to have the three if you do something like what I just did. Um, actually, eh, it worked out. But again, just you just you know play to your comfort. Sorry, hold on. Five, four, five, four. See, and then I did three, and then now we go. To uh, fire one again, and then three, two, three. Oh. I'm gonna take advantage of the one that we have. I should have at least done it one more time. But that's What you do want is your stance threes, not not the ones that I would do. I was worried about the umbrellas that time, so that's my looking a little hairy. So, that's my bad. I didn't notice the, uh, the last one that I was on, so we won't really get too close off, but that should be fine. So yeah, just as you play, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get a very nice flow. Uh, also, if you, uh, if this does, fall, I use what I what I like to call the step up method. Uh, so you see, like my main attacks for all of the 50 were one and two. Uh, my main attacks throughout the entire rest of the game, as far as yeah, are gonna be shift one and shift two. That way, nothing much changes, right? So like, my typical. Blizzard is one, um, and my typical uh, fire is two. So if I'm doing the step up version of fire two, or uh, in the fire, uh, uh, if I'm doing the step up version of fire, which would be fire four mechanically, not like not, not like. Oh, it's level two, so it's fire two. Never mind. Uh, it's the step up. Uh, so you have fire and fire two, right? It, it it because I built so much muscle memory throughout the years, like before Heaven Sword and stuff, I was just so used to it being 1 and 2, so I was like, why don't I just make it, um, the same buttons, but shift, shift, shift method, shift method, step up method, whatever you want to call it, but th that's how my pop is set, but that helps, great, you want to use it, awesome, I, I just wanted to help. <laughs> and if you have another method, feel free to discuss it. That sounds cool. Why am I doing that? Why did I do what I did, actually? I don't want to talk about it. That was really bad.
by the way, uh, also, depending on your spell speed, it does not really have to be hard. It doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be three, only three. You can do four, sometimes even five. It's heavily dependent on your spell speed. And however you build it. Because later on you build the spell speed. Right now I'm just... I have whatever I have of saying this. But later on... Oh, no, no! Alright, it cancelled out my... Damn it. Whatever. Alright. Um, so... Spell speed 600 and something, right? That felt pretty normal to me. I'm, I'm a slow caster, but I do like speed casting. But I am a slow caster. I'm very comfortable with slow casting. Uh, you will eventually find your own rhythm, and I hope you do. And yeah, we're going to continue off and to Stormblood is next. So I'm very excited because our first ability to get is going to be Between the Lines. Same thing, see? So, like I was saying, kind of with the, sh with the step method or the shift method, see, like, my ley lines is T. My, sh my between the lines, which, which all it does is drag me back to my ley lines. So it's really good for, you can kind of cheese some stuff for fun. So, like, if you know the fight well enough and you know, like, where an AoE is going to be and you know where the safe spot is, drop your ley lines in the safe spot and if it, like, knocks you back or you have to run away for a second or, like, it rotates, whatever instance of it, if you know that it's going to be the safe spot, you can just, between the lines, put yourself back in and get right back to casting. It's really fun that way. Um, so, that's all it does. It just drags you right back to your lines. Uh... There is another version in uh, uh, level uh, in uh, Dawn Trail that came out, and I'm not sure if it's just going to be the same button. It looks like it is. It looks like it get transferred. Let's see this little. Uh, let me try. Let's see. I'll put this up here. No, it's it's a totally different button, actually. So I don't know what it is. Oh, you know what? This might mean that it, uh, it's after, it's right there, yep, can only be executed while under the effect of ley lines, the effect version, so, okay, so it's not a new button, it's just gonna be my T button, right, so, later on you'll be able to redraw your ley lines once per ley line, right, so only one time, which is fine, that's perfectly fine, because I can, I can still between the lines, and if I don't feel comfortable, if I have to move, I can just redraw, um, ley lines, which is really, really freaking cool um but it's the same button so if i just if i'm like here and i run over here it's just t so they made it a a, a follow-up action that's that's really cool uh, and then high thunder is going to be let me guess i'm pretty two minutes before yeah it, it, it okay so thunder four becomes that thunder we pretty much what the reason i'm doing this is because we pretty much have everything set up i think after this we only get yeah, so between the lines, Thunder 4 becomes what uh, Thunder 2 currently is. Uh, or backwards, backwards. Thunder 2 becomes what Thunder 4 currently is. Triple cast is amazing. We will discuss that later. Uh, Foul, yep. Uh, Despair, yep. Is you know, glossy, yep. And then after that, that just morphs that mor So that is that is Fire 2, it just gets better. That is Fire or uh, Blizzard 2, it just gets better. Amplifier is another skill we get. High Thunder is what Thunder 3 currently is. Um, High Thunder 2 is what Thunder 2 currently is. Retrace we just talked about, and Flare Star is an entirely new ability that is really cool. And we'll get there. We will get there. But for now, thank you all for watching. I can't wait to discuss more. Y'all take care, and I'll see you in the next one.